interesting. So you're talking about uh, strategic thinking, and we can talk about that both at a business level and at a policy level. We have already spoken about what you think are the risk is the recipe for business growth. And I'm guessing if we go back to those elements, what, what is the thinking so far? early thoughts about how individual businesses can be more resilient to the direct effects of the fire, but also climate change. Are there good opportunities? Is it, is it just a question of um, minimising destruction? I think there are two sides of the coin. And one of them is risk and one of them is possibly reward. And if we look at climate change in its widest interpretation, what does that mean? Well, that means that businesses, business owners, who are, I think, inherently wired to innovation, doing things differently in order to create a point of difference for their business or for their enterprise, whether it's a commercial enterprise or a not-for-profit. However, if we look at energy, circular economy, uh, waste, water, technology, all of these things actually have something in common. We want to be kinder to the environment, but we want to build a sustainable enterprise, and at the same time, we want to reduce our costs. And what's happening, usually through technology as being the catalyst, is that there are more solutions coming available in especially areas like the circular economy, how we turn waste into sources of energy, how we turn recycling into new materials for production. How do we keep our costs down when we do that and we are then in turn being kinder in the environment? How do we keep our energy costs down? How do we use less water and use it more efficiently? All these types of questions, these are the types of things which I think entrepreneurs, are, they're good at answering these questions. And Often the gateway, often the enabler of being able to do this is a rapidly emerging technology. But it's something that every city and every state and every province around the world is actually looking for similar solutions. And South Australians, because they are generally quite innovative, are quite good at this. And this really could be an opportunity for our state, is for South Australia to become a solutions provider for sustainable living, sustainable business enterprises, for environmental care, for lower energy consumption, for cleaner energy consumption, for less water consumption, be more water wise, better land care, soil care, all these types of things. We're good at it. And the question I ask is, if we're good at it, and we know that other states and other countries are looking for similar solutions. Maybe there's a big commercial opportunity there for us to be exporting some of these solutions into interstate and overseas markets.